Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV, and it's the channel that plays everything so you don't have to. Today we are back again with The Invincible. This is going to be part 7 of the series. And if you're not all caught up, hit that button on the top right of the screen. It'll take you to the playlist. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be part of the community and enjoy more game content just like this. And if you've been here before, thank you for supporting, and let's get back into it. Oh, that radiation is getting strong. I can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio is breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. Oh, look, it's those plants getting. Oh, hey. Coming at me. Ah, carrying something. Ah. I got out. What? Inside a cave. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Oh. Why is my heart doing that? I don't feel too. Uh oh. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, yes, sir. You need to rest. This is meant for no. robots. No. I'm better now. All right, then. Can you tell me what's in there? Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. And why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. Can I grab the box from him? What's in it? Go back over here and look around. This place is full of metal bushes. Same as the ones before. Well, this is a bunch of those boxes. All right, let's turn around and go this way. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. So is that what they were doing? Maybe taking samples? These metal palm tree looking things. Every time you get near them, it starts messing with you. What's that? I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Oh, we got a body. How long ago did this guy go? Does he have a weapon? Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Little bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Do you want me to go down there? How am I supposed to get over there? Can you please check them, yes, sir? Do you have anything specific in mind? The doctor, if it's all metal... Oh. Then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. They're like metal roots. Everything matches. There's metal all around, and the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm, interesting. Sounds similar... To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... 
Mm -hmm. Ruin the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? Mm -hmm. This is not life. Used to be alive. I simply use terminology I'm familiar with. But we can't talk about life here. For me, it's a virus. A parasite on this planet. Isn't that life? I would never classify viruses as living organisms. Now, but there are theories that we humans have a common ancestor with parasites. An RNA particle. <sighs> That's true. However, we can function on our own. It's not easy, but we can. Viruses, on the other hand, need to come into contact with what science calls life in order to activate. And here, there isn't really any evidence of it, is there? Correct. It truly is a phenomena. Active parasites on a planet housing nothing but scrap metal. The one now. I guess we're going back because there's no way to get past that keep looking around I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material those fruits could you retrieve them somehow it won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip I'll come closer first we gotta get it from the robot. Oh, shit! I can't handle it anymore. Oh no! How did I end up in front of it? I was over there. What? It hitting me? Like fixed its loop? Get up, lady. Disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. I uh, must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Ah, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Come back, robot. Good. Please follow it. I want to see what you got in that box. Wait, that spider thing was alive. Is he gonna wake up? Oh, it is. Oh, fuck. Fuck, it's getting up. Oh, the robot. No, no, the anti -mat. You need to act fast. Move. Yes, no, but... I'm trying to run. It won't. Oh, my God, he killed yes, the robot. Are you alive? Why can't I run? Destroyed the robot. There's a hole. Get it going now. Run! You're so slow. That's gonna be hot. I can't go through that. Thank you for your support, sir. The probe won't help me this time. The probe won't come this time. Yes, sir. Stay calm. Who won't come? No. Don't die on me now. Thank you. of successful missions. Are you safe now? Safe enough. And the Antimat? He decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Mary can't forgive you either. 
Marit, she can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So, if I may, I would suggest watching your next steps. Uh, there were no more anti-mats on the slides, sir. I'm afraid that's not the only threat around, aren't you? Of course I am. But I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. How we can aid them. For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first antimap told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Find the rover? Oh, we got a new passage. It's cooled down. Oh, there's another rover. Actually, it's right in front of me. Okay, the data recorder. Well, we know where that is. It's right above the passenger seat. There's a body in there. These were those trucks. Oh, and look. Whatever they put in there, it looks like those metal trees are coming out of it. ATR-12? Hello, good sir. Just gonna ride with you. Don't worry about it. Oh, we get a light. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys and locks anyway? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Uh, there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh? I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise three-fold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? Navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> but why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. 
Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. What the fuck? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? Maybe in theory, yes, I want to believe it's possible. Maybe in theory. I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't, they won't remember anything. Even language, their past, our voyages together. Let's face it, this new life of theirs will be far from normal. They'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'll be worth examining. Confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. Bushes already protrude from the holes. <sighs> I don't get it. Those bushes again. We don't know the whole picture. Maybe the bushes made these holes. We figured out that bushes can consume metal to build their own tissue. Maybe that's what's happened here. Bushes ate the metal shell. Where did they come from in the first place? I admit, it's quite puzzling. It's pretty easy. If you said they got the fruit, put them in those containers, and in the slides it showed them have the transport trucks. They put the fruit in the trucks and the fruit you know, sprouted, and then we got the bushes. Let's go see. We go inside and see it. Oh, the door's the door opening. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. Got a light? <laughs> Awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Oh, we got a flare. Now. Oh, there's a robot. I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. I'd love to hear it. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. 
The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are persuading yourself to define it as a life form? Uh, the opposite. Maybe there is something to it. New information changes perspective, Astrogator. But I think it's better to withhold any further classification until we learn more about genesis of these creatures. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate. Form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source. And so on and so forth. And I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. So we're basically dealing with metal beings. Go this way, there's another force field. Figure out how to close that off. Unless we can walk through it. I don't think we can walk through it. Yeah, we're blocked off. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Oh, well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. There are powerful emitters in the center, similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you are looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Ah, got it. I know how to get inside, under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Oh, where's the opening? Maybe over that way. Gotta work our way around. Gotta go find the openings. It might be this way. She never just wants to run all the time. I try to make her run, it's like she does it when she feels like it. This must be it. Into another cave. Nice and easy now. You think you would have a flashlight out of all the equipment? All you got is flares. You think you have like a solar flashlight or something. Or even one of the ones that you crank up. Look at the journal. That's the force field? Okay. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. This registry could be valuable, especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Can I get to it? Oh, come here, little proby. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you too? Uh, I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down. Unless I find a working controller. Oh, I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. 
force. The force field doesn't block radio waves. Okay. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Inogo bot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? I'll work it out myself, it's a good plan. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Okay, I guess I gotta go in here first. Um, yes, it's yeah. around here. Somewhere. Right there, it keeps going around. Field power. Look at that. Is that a fusion generator? Just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but everyone here is dead. Send shivers down your spine. It's hard getting used to the sight of corpses. It's more than that. I'm starting to understand the suffering they felt in their final moment. They were left to fend for themselves. Suit. Trying to survive. Oh, those are his toes hanging out. So this is the shield power. The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. What do you mean get the flies out of there? Get onto this thing. Oh. I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. Before you leave them, please check that the cargo is intact. That's such a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Uh, all good. I hope. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? Probably not. Will, I'm sure. So what? Off we go. Yes. Maybe I'll leave the flies behind. Or are... yes, off we go. I guess off we go. Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. Of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course, I'm on it. Although, first, I like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. A bad idea. Probably shouldn't take them with us, to be honest. see nothing. Looks like dirt. Oh. More than dirt. Wow. I must admit. They look amazing. Oh, they break out. Yes, sir. What have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? What? what are you talking about a black hole? Open the door. What do you mean a black hole? Oh God! What group of these flies could be? I can tell you. It can 
be gigantic. Hit the door. Hit the door. What are you doing? Oh, we're just leaving it open? We gotta move. This is not going well. I'm saying flies, man. They're like little shurikens. Oh, and I crashed, didn't I? Now what? Man, this is not good. Ain't gonna remember anything. Hey everyone, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. On the bottom of the screen, if you like, comment, share, subscribe, you can support the channel. Also, check out the videos above. That'll take you to more content from Valhalla Gaming TV. Thanks again. Later.